Yo guys, it's Chris here, Ben in the video. Today we are introducing the Forza Motorsports 7 Racing League. Now, this will be a league that is going to be ran on my channel, and it's going to be two months long, and I'm basically just going to explain everything now. So, a quick overview. Uh, it's basically a two month long racing event that will have different cars and different tracks each week. And there'll be a playoff, and there'll be some cool prizes and stuff like that. So, let me get it started right off with the schedule. So, scheduling, we will be starting on March 24th. That is a Saturday, and I did a uh, I did a post, and we will be doing it on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is also 11 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast and 7 p.m. in the UK. Now, these will be every Saturday at that time. Uh, basically for nine weeks so here's how it works so basically there are six regular season races so the first one would be Spain Grand Prix it'll be Forza GT stock but tunable so basically I'll be giving you the racetrack the division and the lap so for example the first race is at, uh, this uh, Catalonia and it's the Grand Prix circuit will be running 10 laps and it's under the division of Forza GT now with these cars you will not be able to make any upgrades but you are allowed to tune the car which means you can adjust tire pressure and all that good stuff but you can't upgrade the car they have to be stock so that's the first race uh, be Forza GT the second race is at uh, Cir uh, Spa, the, uh, I'm not going to pronounce it, Belgium basically Spa, everybody knows Spa, the Grand Prix circuit, and it'll be Forza P2, once again stock with tunable, and we'll be doing 8 laps. Uh, all these races will be about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes long, and everything about this league will be ran on the channel, so you'll be able to check back. Uh, when certain things happen plus i might make a like a website with for it to make it easier in fact i probably will be so you guys can keep going back and have up-to-date standings but the third race will be circuit of the americas grand prix will be rise of the supercar stock with tunable eight laps fourth race is the hockenheim full uh sport gt stock with tunable 12 laps race five will be lime rock full uh sport coupe is the division and stock but tunable 22 laps and race six is laguna uh full laguna de seca that is the Mazda speedway supercar renaissance stock but tunable again and 15 laps so those are the regular season races now what happens is throughout those races you earn points so the top eight people earn points so first place gets 45 second gets 35 third 30 fourth 25 fifth 26 15 7, 10, 8, 5, and 9, and uh, on don't get any points. That's one of two ways you can make uh, points. Also, uh, we will have teams. Two, two players will be in a team. So it's kind of like Formula 1. So when you sign up, I recommend that you sign up with a teammate. So that means you're going to have to share this tournament, share this event to other people, so other people know about it. So you need to make sure uh, you're in a team of two people, because and you want to make sure you pick a good driver because depending on how well your other driver does as well you get points for that too and I'll do some more rules with the teams later but basically combined positions if your team gets first place so say someone on a team gets first and the other one gets third uh, and the other if they combine for the best they get 15 second gets 10 and third gets five if teams tie then it goes in the middle it's so like if two teams tied for first they would both get 12.5 instead uh, basically with the teams the teams have to have a certain color um, I assume people will have the same color some some people might have the same color you like blue red that's a popular color but both drivers have to be running a, the same livery um, so you can so if two people are wearing uh, two people have blue as their main color maybe they they have both they all have different liveries so it'd be easier to determine so the teams of two have to have the same victories or same liveries so in those six races if you win a race you're guaranteed to make it to the playoffs so as long as you win a race you're in the playoffs but there are only six races, and with six races, we could have six different winners, but it's more than likely we'll probably have four different winners, and two people would win twice. 
Uh, so at that point, eight teams go to the playoffs. So if you or eight players go to the playoffs. So if you do not win a race, but if you get like second and third every race, you can still make the playoffs. Um, so that's that's basically the how the points work with that. Uh, now, once you make the playoffs, so say for example, someone uh, gets a grand total. So say first place at the end of all this gets a total of. 400 points and second place has 350 so basically as soon as the uh, regular season ends you will be bringing some points in uh, to the playoffs that you've had before or else there wouldn't be any point in the regular season so your your number would be divided by six <clears throat> your number would be divided by six basically so if you had 400 whatever 400 divided by six is um i don't know what that is i'm not going to bother trying to do it so you would have more points so first place would still have more points in second more points in third but it'd be a much closer uh battle basically uh instead of it just being far apart because what if someone wins all the races you know there's no point in the playoffs so that's kind of the whole point of that so once the playoffs come so there's the first race in the playoffs now this is when we have eight drivers the first race is going to be the nurburgring uh but it will be the uh the grand prix version so the smaller one uh, and then it'll be the Supercars Championship, once again, stock but tunable, and it'll be 10 laps. Now, the playoff races will be 30 minutes each because they're a little bit longer. And uh, basically, after the fi- the people who get 7th and 8th in that race do not move on. So six drivers will move on to the next one, which is the next week, which would be Sebring, and it'll uh, be the Sebring Grand Prix, and it'll be Track Toys. Uh, so obviously the full Sebring trap, and it'll be 10 laps. And basically, whoever gets 5th and 6th in that race is eliminated. So we will head into the final race with 4 players. And at this point, to keep it even more competitive, your points will be divided by 2. So once again, 1st first, uh, first still have more, 2nd would still have more than 3rd. But it will be much closer, and whoever wins that race... Uh, or actually, no, it doesn't even have to be whoever wins that race. Whoever exits that race with the most amount of points... Uh, will win and that race is Silverstone the Grand Prix it'll be hypercars once again stock but tunable and it'll be 13 laps so that's all the scheduling um, so you're probably wondering what are the rules here uh, the rules is that there will be real pit stops um, so you will be having to take pit stops uh, add some more cool stuff to the races it will be simulation so we don't have people just ramming into each other and like yeah it's gonna be simulation like a real race so we need actual good drivers here um keeping two uh keeping two wheels on the track is clean so if the track extends as long as you keep two wheels it's clean i will be reviewing all the races uh after they are done and um I will be taking away, I'll be giving penalties um, if you get a certain penalty. So minor quarter cut is half a second. So what I mean by minor quarter cut is you didn't mean to cut the track, but uh, if you ended up gaining time on it, then you're going to get uh, penalized 0.5 seconds. But if you don't end up gaining time on it, it actually slows you down, you don't lose anything. And a major corner cut is two seconds, which means you, know, you cut a corner that, you, you gained quite a lot of time on and yeah you're not supposed to do that uh major contact uh since it's simulation if you force someone else to break down or something like that that's going to be a five second penalty uh which isn't good and you will have to start from the back of the grid of the sec of the next race uh so you do not want either that you don't want to start from the back uh, once again, all these would be reviewed if it was intentional or not. If it wasn't intentional, then you just get the five seconds. Uh, but if it was, you get to go to the back to grid two. Uh, illegal contact. Um, if you adva- if you hit someone and you take their position, uh, then you get a one second penalty for that. And if you track extend, you get a one second penalty. Uh, there is going to be qualifying for this, so there will be uh, a seven minute time session, and you guys will get to go around the track for seven minutes, and. Uh, whoever sets the fastest time obviously gets to start in the front. It's qualifying, so it's probably going to be like two to three laps for you to set a good time in. Um, and when we actually start the race, we'll have a formation lap because you know it's all randomized. So we'll have to uh, actually do a formation lap and then start at a certain time, just like other league races. So all that now you're probably wondering, what's the prize? What's the whole point of doing all this? Well, 
Uh, I am working on a prize right now, but what I can guarantee you is that there will be in-game stuff like credits, cars, uh, stuff like that. But I am working on getting a company to sponsor this event and get a pretty cool prize. So uh, I've been working on that. Uh, that will be uh, to be determined. Um, so yeah. So basically, yeah, it starts next Saturday, uh, March 24th. So what I want you to do uh, to sign up is in the comments, uh, I need you to put your gamer tag. And I need you to put, if you're on a team, and whatever the team is, and you can name your team. So you can have your own team, uh, put who you're with on your team, and your gamer tag. Now, only sign up if you're actually going to do all the races. It's not that hard. It's 30 minutes once a week. It can't be that hard. Uh, and and you plus, you get to be on YouTube and stuff like that, and you have a good chance to win a prize. Uh, once again we would I need to have at least 12 drivers in this so share this as much as possible get your friends to join this but only do it if they're actually gonna do it uh, so yeah I'm giving you guys a two-week advance here so that's that's the end of this guys hope you guys do enjoy this it's gonna be really really fun all these events will be broadcasted and uploaded to YouTube uh, the next day so that's gonna be really fun especially with the new spectator mode and all that so yeah uh, that's the end of this video see you guys next time and peace